I am here today to talk to you about uh, an issue that's been on everybody's mind for at least two years, um, but maybe it's been on your mind for 50 years. Uh, maybe you've been in it since the very beginning, and that is the, the issue of the impending split in the United Methodist Church. Now, there seems to be two sides of this issue. There's the traditionalist uh, view, uh, which reads scripture uh, in one manner. And then there's the progressive uh, side that seems to read scripture in a different way. And both are very, very passionate. The thing that I've noticed is that I have an affinity for those who are willing to tell me where they stand. You know, if you're a progressive or if you're uh, a traditionalist, if you've done your homework, if you've searched the scriptures, if you've um, come to a place where you believe in your heart uh, that you need to take a stand on one side or the other, I can respect that greatly. The issue I'm having uh, these days is with those of us, and, and truthfully, those that are in leadership that aren't willing to show their cards. It seems to me that they are neither traditionalists nor progressives, or they don't want you to, to know which side they're on. And, and for me, uh, that bothers me. In Acts, there's a scripture that, that says, save yourselves from this untoward generation. Untoward means that it has no direction. And for me, those people that, that neither take a, a stand on one side of the coin or the other, it seems to me that they are untoward. Now, I can surmise why people would be nervous of sharing about uh, which side they feel that they lean on. One, you know, maybe they really haven't done the research or maybe they don't know what's right or wrong. The other possibility is, is maybe uh, they don't want to offend uh, people that, that they care about. I, I get that. Or maybe, you know, their position uh, and, and their paycheck um, it really depends on which way this thing falls. And that I have an issue with. I just feel like that, you know, whether you're hot or cold, that, that that's at least commendable. But when you're playing both sides to the middle, when you speak to one group and, and you sound like you're saying that you believe like them, and then you speak to another group and you say that you believe like them, or at least you hint that way, so that, so that you come out in this ambiguous fog, uh, that sounds double-minded to me. You know, if, if you are traditionalist and, and you say that you believe in Scripture and that, that you read it, um, you know, more literal than, than most, I, I can respect that. If you're a progressive and you say, hey, listen, I believe that the Bible contains the Word of God, but there's some stuff in there I feel like it's cultural or I feel like it's allegory, and uh, but I've read it and, and this is what I've come up with, you know, there's some respect there, especially if you're living it out. But when you're on the fence and, and talking out of both sides of your mouth, there's no honor in that. I feel like that it is right along the same lines of I'd rather you be hot or cold. Now, don't get me wrong. There's some compassion for these people. I, I believe these people are living in fear. I, I believe they're living in fear of of losing a paycheck. I believe in they're, they're living in fear of... of public opinion and all that's horrible and it, it is my prayer that you're set free from that it's my prayer that we're all set free from that but wherever you fall on this continuum of whether or not God still moves in lives and changes hearts and, and how he does that wherever you fall in that continuum I can respect but when you're not on the continuum when you're at a place where you go you know I don't think it makes any difference fundamentally that goes against everything I believe Jesus stood for. It makes a difference. It makes a difference what you believe. It makes a difference where you stand. It makes a difference whether you believe that God can change a heart or whether he only changes these other things. You know, it, it, it makes a difference. So if you're in leadership in the United Methodist Church and you're playing this, your cards close to the vest kind of game, I know you're miserable. Please know I'm praying for you and, and I pray that, that you're set free from that fear. If you're just a local pastor or a pastor and you, you're afraid that you're going to offend one side of your congregation or another, I, I get that. And we definitely don't want to be offensive and we don't want to hurt people out of spite. But I do believe that we have to speak the truth in love. And these are things that I've been thinking about. Uh, what are your thoughts on this issue? Uh, do you believe that there should be uh, 
a group of people that say, hey, listen, I'm not going to take a stand either way. Um, how do you feel about them being in leadership? Put your comments down below.